Hey guys, I'm LB, and apparently we're booting Figment number one. Uh, yeah, so after I played Quentin's request for a Kylo X map, Kylo X themselves, the author of the map, requested that I play one of their other maps. This is... This is Figment number one by Kylo X. Yes, this is Portal 2. <laughs> it's running in Portal 2's engine. Booting Figment number one. This is an exploration map with minor puzzles and mind-bending exercises. White and black, those are the only textures that are used on this map to make up geometry, the impossibilities, and mind-breaking adventure. Inspiration from Antichamber, which I recommend dearly. Yes, Antichamber is a fun game. Unfortunately, I had it spoiled for me before I played some of it, but whatever. I had some of it spoiled for me before I played it, but I quite enjoyed it. And I still have some super of it on my game. Also, this kind of reminds me of, uh, the Unfinished Swan. Those of you who have seen the Unfinished Swan will know why. Look at this. I just love the visuals like this. This is why I love minimalism. It just- it just looks so neat. I just like the way it looks. The edge detection and the minimalist graphics and textures and stuff looks really neat. Oh, this is trippy. Hope this isn't a maze, because that would be annoying. <laughs> the way we came from is also that. Oh, that's crazy. Alright, um... Two... Four... Nine, six, and one. Interesting. What is going on here? Hmm. Let's go back to one. Uh, oh, oh, uh, yep, yeah, world portals. Yep, that's- that's an unfortunate side effect of using Portal 2's engine for this. Let us just walk in a straight line, and see what happens. Seems like we'll get right back to one, right? Yeah, alright, let's go diagonal then. We'll get somewhere eventually, right? I hope. Apparently turn on caps lock at some point, I don't know when I did that. But going diagonal seems to do... Seems to be having us explore every single one of these places. Oh, no, we're back to one, unfortunately. Well, crap. Hmm. <laughs> oh, world portals. I don't know where I'm going, or what I'm doing. And I'm right back to one somehow. What the... Oh, I thought there was a square here, but that's just an illusion. That's a trick of your mind. Okay. Of course, uh, that- this right here is not a trick of your mind. That's actually being rendered for some reason, because the world portals are buggy. I don't know what I'm doing right now, honestly. This is- this just feels like a pointless maze. It certainly looks really neat, but, uh, I've grown quite tired of it. I don't know what to do at this point. Am I supposed to visit these in order, perhaps? Let's, let's see, can I get back to one from here? Alright, one. Two. Was that what I'm supposed to do? I'm an idiot. Three. Uh... Four. Five. Six. Seven. What the? Oh! This is different. I am supposed to visit them in order. Okay. That took me entirely too long to figure out. I'm sure people who have played, like, adventure games, point-and-click games and stuff, would have figured that out way before me. What is going on here? I hope I can't fall, right? I don't actually know if I can fall, but it seems like I can. And let me guess, we're gonna be walking on the other side now? Hey, 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 yes. Ooh. Really now?
interesting. What might we do about that? Also, hang on, let me go back for a second here. I don't know about you guys, but I've got this- I don't know if it's like, just actually there. Maybe there's a slight glow emanating from these white rod things, but... In the gap between the rods, it kinda looks like the texture of black is a bit of a lighter color, as if the glow is still there. And I don't know if that's just my mind filling in the gap and playing an illusion trick on me, or if that's actually there. I, I don't know, I'll have to check. I am recording lossless, so I can double check for sure, but uh... I don't know, let's see what happens if I fall. Oh, apparently nothing. It can just walk across the gap. That's kinda what I figured, but I didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, I can just walk anywhere here, can't I? <laughs> oh, that is great. That is great. And of course we fall now. Where are we now? I just love the way that- So there's another game called, I believe, uh... Perspective? No, not- was it? I don't remember, it's, uh... But Broccoli smiled in an indie impressions of it. And, uh, it's also basically this. It's a bunch of illusions that the whole goal is to navigate your way through the illusions in order to progress. And it's just like a little museum with paintings that you stand in front of and then suddenly you're inside the illusion. It's a really neat little game. I'll link it in the description if I remember. I'll link all the games that have been mentioned, I guess. Oh, what the? Apparently my movement speed gets really fast for some reason. But this especially reminds me of antechamber. Definite antechamber rituals. Why am I moving so fast? <laughs> what the? Well okay then! <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Well, my movement speed is... Oh, wait, what? That wasn't like that before now, was it? Uh... Oh, what? I fell down in the center of the room. Apparently, apparently I was supposed to not go that direction, or be confused by that. Uh... Can I crouch? Ah ha ha ha! I can crouch! Fancy that. Oh, 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 uh, that was... Okay. Not what I expected, but, uh... Can we go back at all, or did I just accidentally miss out on that? Hmm. Oh well, that might have been a cool visual, but I was looking the wrong direction the whole time. <laughs> Finish line! So yeah, even though Kylo X's maps generally don't have very much in the way of puzzles, I love seeing the very creative visuals that they come up with. What the heck is that over there? What the heck? Oh, that's me! Oh, that confused me so much. Yeah, that's me. That's- it, this is one of those places where you just fall infinitely. Like an antechamber. Yeah. Right, uh... So we want to go where exactly? Where's the cube? Hmm. I feel like it's kinda hard to land where I want. I think- I think the world portal's like, sucking me in. Like, if I let go of the cube, what happens? Oh, it just falls. Uh, I might have made a mistake. <laughs> that cube is just, uh, just falling. Oh, and I fall faster than it, right? Oh no, uh, slight problem.
sound effect was so creepy. Holy crap. I've never heard the game make a sound like that, but that's just a really slowed down sound. I guess because it's been full for a long time, that's the sound it makes. Oh, now the key is totally freaking out. Um, ouch. That sound effect is so freaky, man. Alright, uh, this is a slight problem. There we go. I have the cube. Now, where's the button? The button is across here. And... Well... This is a little bit annoying. What the? Why do I keep losing the cube? I don't understand what's happening there. Well... What the heck? Wait, I had the cube th what The cube was... What? I think I had the cube the whole time and it was trying to fly to me. Uh, okay, uh... Hmm. Oh, oh, co, co. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's take this. Why can't I move in some places? This is weird. It's like, it's like fighting me. There we go, finally, jeez. Get there. Thank you. Right, now. Now, I need to get up there. Oh, I just missed. Something about my air control is just really strange here. Something about the world portals, I think, is just messing up the game's physics in all kinds of ways. Right, we finally did that! <laughs> that took an age. That took much longer than it should have. Interesting. What's going on here? Oh! Oh no! Critical failure. <laughs> right, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!